Okay, so I thought we would talk about the third watch. Here's a scripture uh, about the third watch. If he comes in the second watch or in the third and finds them awake, blessed are those his servants. And I named this new program called the third watch. It is actually a program I had done um, almost 15 years ago. Um, it's actually a 15 year old program, but that scripture is Luke 12, 38. And we're resurrecting this program. It's called the third watch. And I, I figured uh, on Thursday nights, if I can do this Thursday is tentatively the date of this program. And we're gonna hopefully maybe see where this goes. I'm not sure, but with the lighting, we have good lighting. And if anybody has any questions about prophecies that are being fulfilled or prophecies that they find interesting to talk about, uh, let me know in the comment section and we can discuss it a little bit more in depth. Um, I'm curious because I am a prophecy junkie and I never thought I would ever say that, but I am saying that. Um, it's interesting how things are unfolding. And one of the scriptures that I was going to, might as well grab it right now. Um, it, it was... To those who would flee to Judea, okay, no, that, to those who would flee to Judea, okay, then let them that be in Judea flee into the mountains. And that's in Matthew 24. This is, uh, that they would not be able to turn away to get their gather their things. That scripture, everybody that knows that scripture, it didn't give me the whole scripture. I wanted the whole verse. Okay, um, I I think that these scriptures are all very interesting because we're getting closer and closer to seeing these scriptures being fulfilled, but. Let's go to Ezekiel 38 for a second. Ezekiel 38, 39. According to Wikipedia, the account of the War of Ezekiel 38 to 39 or the War of Gog and Magog in chapters 38 and 39 details how GOG of Magog, meaning GOG from the land of Magog, or GOG from the land of GOG, the syllable Ma being treated as equivalent to land, and his hordes from the north will threaten and attack the restored land of well, that's Google for you. Okay. I was hoping to get the scripture. I'm going to get the scripture. Here it is. The Lord's great victory over the nation. The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, set your face against Gog, the land of Gog, Magog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubai. And prophesy against him and say, this is what the Sovereign Lord said. I am against you, God, chief prince of Meshach and Tubai. I will turn you around and put hooks in your jaws and bring you out with your whole army, your horses, your horsemen, and, and fully armed with great horde and large and small shields, all brandishing their swords. A lot of people refer to Russia is, I think, Magog. I'm not sure. I always wondered about that. So these are questions that we could ask each other in the comment section. If you think that Russia is Magog in that scripture, and we could entertain this on the second watch here or the third watch. Thanks for listening and God bless.